Hello, my art loving friends. I have some fun Christmas gifts here that I want to share with you and a few things that I bought myself. There's a lot of stuff. So sit down, grab a snack and a drink and let's get started. All right, we'll start with the stuff I bought myself because it's the least exciting and the stuff that I received as gifts is the most exciting. <laughs> All right, here is an acrylic set of 18 colors. This is because Mi Liang or Mai Ling, Mai Liang, hmm, don't know how to say that. But this brand right here had their buy one, get one free sale a week or so ago. And this acrylic paint was part of that sale. And this is what it looks like out of the box. And there are actually 24 colors. I think I said 18 a minute ago, but there's 18 regular colors and six pastel colors in here. These are 22 mil tubes, and I'm kind of excited to try them for some reason. And for about the same price, because of buy one get one free, it's nice to choose items that are about the same price. I wanted to try these watercolors. There are 36 colors and they are five mil tubes. They come with this nice foam and the little pretty excellent bird, which has now been relabeled Mai Liang, Mi Liang, something like that. But look how beautiful they are. I was so excited because I thought this was some kind of like blush color, but it's not. This is just what their tube of burnt sienna looks like. So they're pretty standard colors here. We will try them out eventually. There are way too many watercolors to be swatching in today's video, but there will be follow-ups that I will share with you on all of these products. And then I picked up this Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. I know I'm a watercolor channel mostly, but I am teaching an acrylic painting class at the college in February. And this is the paint set I had them buy for that class because there is a lot of paint in each of these tubes and I want to make sure we get through the whole class without running out of paint. I'll be doing a lot of painting with these in January to test them out before the class and I'll make sure that I share all my thoughts and processes with you on that. I'm also having my students purchase this Stay Wet palette. Now I already had a Stay Wet palette but it's so big that I never like to pull it out and use it. Here it is here. If they had made this palette without the jar section, it would have been about the perfect size. But with that jar section, it just takes up too much room on my desk and it makes me feel squished and uncomfortable even though my desk is roomy. I have a lot of space here. It just, it's still, it's just big. I didn't like it. So I found this one and we'll try it out and see if we like it. And you can see the size difference here. So this is one that's more used for painting miniatures. And because of that, it is a little bit less expensive than the Masterson Stay Wet, but it's the exact same idea. You have foam sheets, which is like the sponge. You wet it, you put the special paper on top of it, and it keeps your acrylic or gouache wet longer. And this one also has a vent if you need that. I'll link all these products below in case you want to check them out but I will be testing this intensively in January. I'm just having my students pick up this 12 pack of very affordable canvas boards. It's from US Art Supply. There's two of each of these sizes, four by four, five by five, six by six, eight, 10, 12 inches. So you can see they're kind of packaged in there and that will get us through the semester and get them extra that they can practice on their own. So I'll be testing these boards out too in January to make sure that all the paintings I want to do will work on them okay. And that is everything I bought for myself that showed up so far. I have bought a few other things which are very exciting and I will share those with you when they come in. These are the gifts that I've received. So I received, this was on my wish list, the sketchbook I did generator book. You can see it's about that thick but it's really neat because it has these split pages and they're split by subject, medium, or technique, and the colors. So you can just close your eyes, flip each one randomly, and that's what you're going to do in your sketchbook that day. So if I had done this, I would be using the subject of a cuckoo clock with mixed media, gouache or watercolor, adding salt for texture, that's an example, and I would have to use these colors in the painting. So if you ever drive ideas, there are over 100,000 combinations apparently, which is crazy. But look at all that. So I'm excited for this. And Tori got me this. 
Tori also got me this. <laughs> she didn't know that I had already received it. This is the 18 pan Kiritake palette. And instead of trying to return it and get something different, I may have bought another 18 pans of Kiritake paints to put in it because, well, that seemed fun. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea. And these palettes are wonderful. They're 3D printed by Arts to Embers on Etsy. I will link them down below. And the free sample he sent me this time was this cute little pan here with eight separations in it. Now, if I wanted to, I could fill this with watercolor and stick it in here and use other paint in there. But I have a better idea with this one and the one from the previous haul box that I showed you. I'm going to make a separate little mini palette, which I'm really excited about. It came with a hand stamped swatch sheet on watercolor paper, quite handy. A paint sample, I believe this is the same green as the sample I received in the last box, which does not hurt my feelings because I believe it's a chromium oxide green. I still haven't emailed him to ask him. Regardless, it's a delightful color when I swatched it out and I'm excited for it. And then my daughter-in-law, Alyssa, and my son, Eric, got me this. Ah! <laughs> they all got me such great gifts. I'm so excited. This is 640 GSM Cotty paper. So here is one sheet. Look how thick that is. Here, how thick that is. <laughs> so it's 100% cotton rag paper. It's just going to be a delight to paint on. And I'll share that process with you guys as well. And then a very generous box showed up. And inside are so many goodies, you're not even going to believe it. <laughs> Look at it. It's so many. I love it. Another little palette. So this goes in those mini Altoids tens. There's another really cute palette in here too, this one. This little heart palette will be fun to set up with some colors. I may paint the lid white just for better mixing space, but you don't have to. When you have these clear lids, as long as you set it on something white or light, you can get away with the clear lid. But I might paint it anyway. I don't know. It's really fun and pretty to be able to see the watercolors in here. So it's kind of fun to leave them clear, but we'll see. So yes, two little palettes. We'll do something with those for sure. Oh, where to start? Where to start? So many goodies. Let's start with the surfaces. We have a canvas board here. It looks like probably the size six by eight. This is A5 Botanical Ultra Smooth Hot Pressed Paper 300 GSM. 50% cotton. So I don't use hot press paper a lot, but I am starting to get a collection of it and it will be fun to try out for sure. Let's go into this little bag here. We have some White Nights tubes of watercolor paint in quite interesting colors. I'm excited to see what these look like. We have gray blue mist, hematite mist, gray rose mist, green shadows, Taiga Mist, and Chromium Cobalt Mist. I'm excited to have so many paints in tubes now because I really want to make a mixed palette here one of these days, or maybe several mixed palettes, I think is how it's going to go. And these will be fun additions. I can't wait to see what these colors look like. It's going to kill me not to swatch them in today's video. All right, let's go into this baggie next. Quite a fun selection of things here. There's one more in there that didn't come out. Oh no, it's just the uh, the tag that she wrote on with some little bit of this and that, which is so cute. Okay, we have M. Graham Artist Gouache in Payne's Gray. That will be fun. I'm pretty sure I don't have the Payne's Gray in my gouache. I do have M. Graham Gouache, but I don't think that's one of the colors. Uh, da Vinci Watercolor in Quinacridone Violet. Uh, another Da Vinci Watercolor Prussian Blue Green Shade. I love Prussian Blues. A Van Gogh Watercolor Azo Yellow Deep. I think that's a new new to me color. I'll have to double check. And Da Vinci Watercolor Titan Buff. Very, very nice. This color is a mix of Da Vinci's Aerolite Yellow and Benzamita Orange Deep on Milford Cold Pressed Paper. Beautiful. Very pretty. I, I'm dying to see those. I couldn't unwrap those last night because I wanted to do it with you guys together here. But we'll do this one first. Okay. 
got me this because I like bright colors. So true, so true. We have a Da Vinci palette here with what I believe is this sketching stuff coloring set. A little out of order because they kind of got jumbled, I assume, in shipping. So we'll get them back in the order we like and swatch them, but it looks like we get these colors here. So if you don't know sketching stuff, this is Charlie O'Shields, and he has just a really fun outlook on art and the way your artwork can and should be for you. Anyway, he's great. So go to sketchingstuff.com and check him out. And he has his own blue with them, Charlie O Blue. So I'll be quite excited to see what these swatch out looking like. Okay, I can't resist any longer. Let's figure out what these are. It says a few pans of Primatex. The bag kind of matches the colors. Isn't this a beautiful bag, by the way? Okay, we'll pour these out. Unwrap them like candy. Do you guys recognize these wrappers? <laughs> All right, we have Daniel Smith, Road Knight, very pretty. Amethyst Genuine will be lovely. I'm not being too careful on these wrappers, am I? I should, <laughs> should have been more careful. It'd be fun to wrap them back up, but that's okay. I just want to see what they are. Amazonite Genuine. Wow, that's really nice and full. These all are. Okay. Jadeite Genuine. Very fun, very fun. Okay, we will feature these in an upcoming video as well. And this fun bag here. I told you you'd hate me over the Shinhan. <laughs> yes, because I got a Shinhan palette that holds just the amount of paints I have. And then she sends me this. <laughs> So I'm going to have to redo my plan, aren't I? I do have an updated plan for that. However, I was thinking about that this morning and I think I have a solution. These are all Shinhan Professional watercolors. We have Shadow Green, Davies Gray, Lavender, Blue Gray, Lilac, Purple Gray, Green, and Shell Pink. I actually wonder if these are the colors that come in their pastel set. I'm not sure. I would have to look that up and I'm not gonna do that right now. But if you know, put it down in the comments. All right, last but not least for this package and the video <laughs> is this bag here. This is, this is really lovely. Okay, Rosa Gallery English Red Pan. And then look at all these beautiful colors. Oh, I'm so excited to see what they look like. We have Jade Green, Violet Black, Magenta Gray, I'm really excited for this one. I'm actually excited for all of these, but the Magenta Gray did catch my eye. Golden Brown, very curious to see what that one looks like. Azure Green, and Cobalt Gray. Ooh, that's right up my alley. All of these are. All right, well, thank you so much. This was such a lovely gift. I am really excited to see what these look like. So we will be exploring all of these together in the future, so make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss any of these delicious paints, plus all the stuff I showed in my last haul, which included these beam paints. Subscribing is free, it just notifies you when I have a video out, and you can decide if you want to watch it or not. And hopefully you do decide to. That is all the art goodies for today. There will be more coming up. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hello, my art-loving friends. I have some fun. Shoot. It came with a hand stamped swatch sweet. Swatch sweet. <laughs> Jack! Jack! Get Lucy! Jack, get Lucy! Good, good boy! Get Lucy! Hey, Jack, look at me. Look, Jack. Oh, he should give me the silent bark. It's so cute. I love it. It's like my favorite thing ever. But it's usually followed by a Yes.